there, YouTube. Mike Kaylee 7 here. Coming to you on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I believe it's the 7th of July 2021. Seven o'clock PM. We got a big storm coming tomorrow. Tropical storm Elsa. Or maybe tropical depression nothing. Who knows? Who knows? <coughs> I think I'll go a different way home today. Yes, 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 that's what I will do. Ooh, I have... You know what? I'm gonna go get some gas instead. Because I'm running low. Not good, not good. Last minute change of mind. Alright, so where was I? before I was so rudely interrupted by my own decision to get gas. At least I have a full tank now. And it's a cool 89 degrees. So let me see if I could think of any good stories Let's see. Did you guys know that I lived in England for a while? That's right, I did. When I graduated from uh, North Shore Community College in Lynn and Beverly, Massachusetts, I uh, got accepted to the American University in Washington, D.C. and New England College in Arundel, West Sussex, England. So uh, I was going to go to American University because that's a big name school, but they did not give me enough financial aid. I also applied to the American uh, Université Américaine de Paris, the American University in Paris, and they had no financial aid, so that was out. So New England College had two campuses, one in Arundel, West Sussex, England, and the other in Henniker, New Hampshire, and I wanted to go to Arundel, so... They said, yeah, we'll work with you on financial aid, so they gave me more. <laughs> Yay for me, right? So, in August of 1991, yours truly boarded a plane for England. When I first got there, uh, at the, uh, I believe it was at Heathrow, the passport control guy he got, I gave him my passport and I gave him a letter from New England College saying I'm there for a semester to study. And he was looking at me up and down like, you are not going to try to get a job here, right? Something like that, you know. And I said, I'm an American. Why would I want to get a job in this country? Why would I want to try to live in this country? I'm an American. So I played the ugly American thing, right? And he just didn't even give me a second look. Like, okay, he's just your typical ugly American. And off you go. When I was totally planning on getting a job in England and living in England the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, he must have seen my secret plan on me. But uh, anyway, I never did get a job. Couldn't, uh, couldn't finagle that, because I'm not, I'm not one of those crafty types, you know. I was, I got work study as part of the college thing at the college, so I got a couple of pounds or whatever for being a security guard. But I was poor. Thank God they had meal plan at the dormitory where I was staying. 
kind of reminds me, every time I watch Hogwarts, I'm like, oh, I was there. It wasn't exactly Hogwarts, but the same kind of thing. I was in a, a all-encompassing school with the, the dormitories and the classes in the same, you know, campus, whatever. All very much connected and all that. And it was very similar in, in the, you know, the design of things, I guess you could call it. Obviously, we were not wizarding. We had uh, tea time. We had, uh, I can't remember. We had breakfast, we had tea time, we had lunch. Then we had another tea time, and then we had dinner. That was pretty cool. The little triangle sandwiches with, like, cucumber in them or something. And the biscuits. Biscuits are cookies. They had a little vending machine that sold crisps, potato chips, and uh, microwavable cheeseburgers, which I loved. You know, you're a college student, right? You don't know what good food is. <laughs> so I was very happy to have it. And they had a pub on campus, the Tortington Arms Pub. So I'd get a, a pint of Holston Export from the Scottish bartender. And as he was setting up shop every afternoon toward the evening to get ready to open the pub, he'd see me doing my security guard job and he'd say, Hello, my girl! <laughs> Hello, my girl! I'll never forget. It was so cool. I started a magazine on the campus. The magazine had gone defunct and I revived it. I still have uh, copies of it. The fall semester of 1991. I can't remember what the name of that damn publication was, but we had poetry, we had photos, we had short stories. I think it was called The Voice, if I'm not mistaken. The Voice of New England College, something like that. World Voice, maybe? World Voice? It's ringing a bell. I received uh, the the 1991 through 1992 award for political science writing from New England College, Arundel, West Sussex. And my professor was Haifa Jawad, and I had written a paper. I can't remember what the class was in. It was political science something, and I had um, read uh, Plato and his uh, The Republic, and I created a, a response to Plato's Republic cheeky bastard that I was. I walked all around Little Ampton, Chichester, Brighton, went up to Danoon, Scotland with my roommate, who was a prick, or a prat, I guess you could call it. Anyway, enough of that. My Kaylee 7. See you later.